Hi, I'm Hossam Dilai, Microsoft MVP. Developers nowadays use um, GitHub to publish and share their codes and applications. And in this video, you will learn how to publish your application uh, from uh, Visual Studio. So the way to do that, here I have um, a Windows 8 application in Visual Studio 2015. So the first thing to do is to make sure that you have um, the GitHub extension installed inside Visual Studio. To do that, you go to Tools and select Extensions and Updates. Here at the Unstyled menu, you make sure that you have an extension called uh, GitHub for Visual Studio. GitHub extension for Visual Studio. Here I have it installed. If you don't have it in this list, you want to install it here from um, from the online menu. So you go to online and here you select, uh, you search for uh, GitHub. Now you, you will have uh, this extension here. I have it already installed. Uh, else you will have the download button. You click on it, and then Visual Studio will install it um, automatically for you. So now that I have the extension installed, now I want to uh, publish the code of this application to um, GitHub. So let's move to the second part here. I go right click and then se select add solution to source control click on it here i will choose a uh, git as i want to publish to uh, github you may want to choose this option uh, team foundation version control if you want to publish to uh, visual studio online so for now let's choose uh, git select ok here i'm asked to uh, enter the first uh, commit so i'll just call it simply first uh, commit and here select commit now it tells me that my uh, commit was created locally what that means if I go here to my solution right click and open folder on file explorer so I can see here that inside my uh, solution I have uh, two added files with two folders dot git and got, uh, dot bs those files contains uh, configuration and information about my source code. Information like which um, which co which uh, files to include, their extensions. Uh, it tells, for example, to include the .cs and .xaml files, and to not include uh, .dll files or uh, the NuGet packages files. And the Git and VS was um, created by Visual Studio to hold uh, these uh, information about my solution. So now I come back to uh, Team Explorer. So in Team Explorer, now that I have created the um, repository locally inside my computer here, now I want to publish it to uh, GitHub. So the way to do that, I go select Sync here. Sync will bring me this um, this user interface. Here it tells me, uh, it asks if I want to publish to Visual Studio uh, Team Services or Visual Studio Online or I want to publish to GitHub. So I select GitHub. Now I should enter the URL of an empty Git uh, repo. How I can get that URL? So here I go back to my uh, GitHub. So here in github.com I have created an account called Hussam Delay, my name. So now I want to create a new repository here. So here are some of my uh, existing uh, repositories. Now I want to create a new one. So let's select new from here or I go to here and new repository. Here I give it a name. Let's call it for example GitHub demo. Let's give it a description demoing using GitHub from uh, Visual Studio. That's the description that will appear in my uh, GitHub repo for every um, everyone who sees this uh, URL. 
So here I have this um, this repository will be public unless I have a purchased uh, a license so that I can make it private so that not everyone can see uh, my uh, my code. And here I go and create repository. Now my, the space for my application was created so that now it tells me that I can use this URL so copy to clipboard I can use this URL from uh, Visual Studio to publish my application so I paste that URL here and here in Visual Studio um, I have actually uh, signed it in using uh, github extension I have signed it in to my uh, github uh, repository so as I have done that now I can hit publish and then here Visual Studio the uh, github extension is now publishing um, the files to my github repository now we can go to this repository again and hit refresh when doing that you see here that the same files inside my Visual Studio now are published to um, github website so I can uh, make sure that's true so here if I go inside Windows 8 app so now I can see my uh, source files so the main page.zaml.cs main page.zaml.cs and all the files uh, from my uh, application okay so now um, that you have created your first commit let's say now you have done a modification for example I, I will declare here an integer call it i equal 5 for example I save it then you can see here that there is um, a red sign here telling that this file was modified so you, you see here all the icons are uh, blue lock that means that all these files are the same inside Visual Studio and inside um, your repository so now this file was changed it uh, here locally and you want to um, to publish this change to uh, github so the way to do that you go to your solution right click and select commit and here you will enter another commit telling for example um, added integer uh, variable Now here in commit I have three options. Commit will commit do changes locally to my um, to my local repository in my computer, and then the second one, commit and publish, will commit the changes to my computer and to the GitHub website. Then commit and sync will do the same as commit and push, but it will also uh, look for any new version on uh, GitHub and try to sync with that uh, new version so for me now I'll select commit and push so that the modification will be stored inside my computer and also inside github so if I go here to github and open the main page .zaml.cs, now I can see that here it is um, the uh, modification that I have uh, done here thank you